Hi, this is Ivan with Simple Sheets. In this video, we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial of our warehouse management system. This is one of over 100 pre-built and smart templates that we offer. Click the link in the description and try 5 free templates before you buy. Let's get started. The introduction sheet contains a short description about this template. Over here, we have a customization difficulty, an explanation of the sheets that come with this template, and some instructions on how you can utilize this template. And at the bottom, we have a short guide on using our templates with compatible online services. This template gives you a control center for the operations of the inbounding and outbounding of goods for your warehouse. This template has a lot of macros and sheets to help you do all those with minimal effort. So follow along as I walk you through them. We start in the settings sheet. We have a few guides here on what to put. First, we input our suppliers. Then, we're gonna skip over here and input the products that each supplier carries. Then, the table in the middle will auto-populate. All we have to do is input the price. Next, we can move to the inventory sheet. It's here where we can view the inventory of our warehouse. To enter a new data, you can do it manually by simply adding new data at the bottom or pressing the Open As Form button on top and hitting New. You can also delete entries using the form as well as browse through the different entries. The table gives you useful information such as the quantity ordered, total value, stock quantity, and whether it's time to reorder. You also get some highlighted metrics on top such as the average price of items, total SKUs, total value of items, total quantity of items, and the number of items that are out of stock. We also have some other macro buttons on top to help you. You can get a print preview, save as PDF, filter out of stock, filter items reordered, and filter amount excluding VAT. The supplier sheet is similar to the inventory sheet in format, but it is here where we log the different suppliers that we have for your inventory. We can input manually the name, VAT number, address, city or area, state, zip code, country, currency, credit terms, bank account details, phone number, fax, and status. You can also do the same using the open as forum button. And you also get a print preview button and a save as PDF button. In the invoice and order sheets, you get the template to create invoice and other forms. Input the pertinent details, the invoice number, and any comments you might have. Use the drop-down list to populate the supplier and products. Input the quantity and unit, the unit price, and the total will be computed for you. Down below, you get the subtotal. Input the tax, discount, and previous balance, and you should get the total. Lastly, input the payment method here, and going back on top, you get the print preview button or you can save it as a PDF. The order sheet is basically the same as the invoice sheet as you can see here. One of the more interesting sheets in this template is the barcode sheet. Simply put, this sheet allows you to create barcodes for your different inventory items. All you have to do is select the type using the guide here. Input the manufacturer code and product code. Just note that the manufacturer and product codes need to be 5 digits long. If they're longer or shorter than that, it will show an error message. That's all for this template. If you want to automate your Excel processes and enhance your level of productivity, Simple Sheets Advanced Templates and University is the best tool out there. I'll see you guys on the next one.